one of the most uh, striking things is, you know, the gut connection too, because mm -hmm. there's a group of bacteria in the gut when they grow too much that we can actually look for and we can test um, through a stool test, actually. I mean, most yes. doctors who are oncologists don't look at stool tests. I mean, right. if you have breast cancer, why should I look at your poop? Right. But we know how connected these things are. Even at Cleveland Clinic, Dr. Tara Sang, who's the head of the genomic personalized medicine uh, program there, is very focused on the microbiome of the gut and how changes in that lead to breast cancer. Right. So tell us about that connection. Well, you know, so there's this enzyme in the digestive system called beta-glucuronidase. And if that enzyme is too high, that can help, that can cause estrogen to get... Uh, um, Uncoupled, broken. Uncoupled, thank you. Yeah. Um, and then reabsorbed into the body. So if you have too much of this one enzyme, we know that that ends up leading to higher levels of estrogen in the body. And we know that estrogen is associated with breast cancer, whether it's causing breast cancer or just causing breast cancer to grow. We know that when estrogen levels are high in the body, that can cause uh, more breast cancer. So it's interesting to note that when there's a shift in the microbiome, there could, there's a shift in this one enzyme, beta-glucuronidase, mm -hmm. and then that can cause that uncoupling, allowing that estrogen, as, as opposed to just getting released and pooped out, it gets reabsorbed into the body, re resulting in higher levels of estrogen in the body. So yeah, basically the liver packages up the estrogen, sends mm -hmm. it down into the poop, and it's supposed to just go out. Yep. But this bacteria sort of unwraps it from its package, and then yep. it's free, and it can get reabsorbed in the body, and then you end up with these chronically high levels. Yes. 